So, I don't understand why are we being lectured by millionaires and billionaires and some of the most wealthy and influential people on the planet about how we need to turn off our air conditioning, about how we need to vote properly, about how we need to be decent people and start eating vegan and preferably eating the bugs, which are coming, by the way, if you look at the media. And, and these people are the ones that are hyped up to, to lecture us about being environmental friendly and they're the same ones that are doing exactly the opposite so the question is like how much of my life do i need to restrict how much air conditioning do i need to turn off H how much vegan food do i need to eat in order to make up for leonardo dicaprio's carbon footprint i i don't think like if i were to move in a cave right now like starting now i move in a cave and i just live off the land like that I don't think I would make a difference compared to Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, he pollutes so much. He pollutes more than my entire family put together. Do you understand this? And, and, and we are the ones that need to make the sacrifice. The common people. And I don't understand, like, why is it, like, the, the progressives? the not, not, not the actors, because I know what they're doing. They're being paid for to act, okay? Like, this for them is a gig. Like, they're acting. They're actors. So when they come up and they lecture you, they're, they're acting on behalf of someone else. But I don't get why the people who are literally concerned about the planet, not picketing the actors, not demanding that Hollywood lives up to its own expectations. I mean, if you actually believe that the world is ending in 10 or 20 years or whatever they think, okay, why do we still have Hollywood movies? I mean, the world can live without Hollywood. Oh, but it's entertainment. We need entertainment. Yeah, sure. Go play soccer outside in the green field. That, that is environmental friendly play baseball people used to have entertainment before hollywood do you know how much a single movie creates in, in terms of pollution especially when they do the special effects with explosions and stuff and you, you you how much energy how much electricity is required to to film a single film but apparently that that doesn't count right and it's not only that then they come and they piss on you but by making these movies like, oh, don't look up, oh, don't look up is, is a really, you know, a warning of the future. Oh, uh, and, and then they go on a yacht. I mean, dude, uh, a $110 million yacht. Do you know how much that consumes? Do you know the carbon footprint of that? When they take their private jets and they go there, why is no one calling them out for the love of God? Like even the left should call them out. If you're a person who believes in the environment, you are the first that needs to constantly call these people out. I mean, look, if one of them did a racist joke, they would be fired the next day. Why? Because people are genuinely offended about racismus. Like everyone wants racismus to end. If, if one of these people would be caught saying some edgy shit on Twitter, they would be fired. But if they go on a plane or on a, on a private jet, why, why can't you fly commercial, by the way? Is your ass too expensive and too good for flying commercial? So if they if they take a private jet, if they go on a private yacht, if they, if they do any of these things, oh, that's progressive. Oh, such an excellent human being because they speak the speech. And as long as you speak the speech, you can piss on other people. That's fine. Just speak the speech. Uh, it is what it is. But, but my favorite part is like with the science. Oh, yeah. you, you don't worship the science. Okay, look, the science might tell you that the world is ending. But it doesn't give you the solution. The solution isn't to pump money in the government, take away your liberties while actors get to still enjoy theirs. That it, that, I mean, maybe that is the solution, but some people may disagree. Some people might say, you know what? Maybe the solution is um, nuclear power. And they will say, oh, but hold on, like nuclear power has all these disadvantages. Yeah, but raising the gas prices and then seeing the yellow vest burning down Paris, that's also a disadvantage. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, not everyone is as rich as Leonardo DiCaprio or Harrison Ford or whomever. 
Not, not everyone can have the luxury of going on their own private island. Some people still have to go to work. And some people still have to put food on their table to provide for the family. And it's also the conflicting messages. It's, on one hand, the planet is dying, ecosystems are collapsing. We need to bully McDonald's into making sure that they don't give out plastic straws and they give paper straws instead in order to save the planet. And on the other hand, oh my God, the pandemic is here. Everyone should wear a plastic mask and have everyone test twice or five times a day with plastic things that, that I mean, those tests are made out of plastic and you have to throw them away after you use them, right? So it's conflicting messages. Well, hold on a little bit. The planet is dying, right? Like if that happens, everyone dies. Uh, which is more important? I mean, th wh why aren't people asking this? I'm not asking for the media to ask this. Why aren't the average Joes asking this? Like, just how minimalistic must be the brain of a progressive person to just not, not even question these things? It's like, look, even, even like some of the most primitive people that lived in a rural village in medieval time would question if they would see the priest go to a whorehouse. Like that priest would have, would, would have had some questions from the public, don't you think? Like if the priest was caught being drunk during mass, like the people would be outraged. They, they would petition the, the bishop or whomever was in charge of that congregation on top of the priest, like hierarchical, and would be like, okay, our priest is a sinner. Can we please get a new one? But, but here, you don't even have that level of accountability. I mean, you know, when you point out outrage, like when you point out the hypocrisy, it's not to shame Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't give a fuck about what I think. But it's to outrage the people. That's why. So, so that the people hold these actors accountable. Through letter writing campaigns, through protesting, through, through all the legal means. You should hold them accountable, not go to see their movies. That's why you point out hypocrisy. It's to make people outraged, because it is outrageous. Isn't it outrageous to, to tell the plebs that they are the ones that need to, to have sacrifices, the plebs need to pay more taxes, the plebs need to um, make sure that they don't turn on air conditioning, the plebs need to stop driving cars, and meanwhile they're driving yachts. Sailing yachts. You know what I mean. But, but it is what it is. I mean, I, I am outraged, okay? Like, I'm outraged about this. Because my... Gas price is going up. Heating the house in the middle of the winter is expensive. It's not Leonardo DiCaprio that's going to pay for it. He doesn't give a shit. He's probably in the tropics somewhere after making the movie that tries to shame me and my way of thinking. But anyway, right, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.